Hello and welcome back. So a lot of people have been asking me to talk about Willow, the new series which is a sequel to the original 1980s movie with Val Kilmer. And I haven't watched every episode yet, but so far this is very disappointing. And not for the reasons might think. So, overall... I love the original. It's cheesy, it's flawed, but it's fun, it's escapism, and I do love it. The irony with this, it's one of the lowest rated um, shows on Disney Plus at this point, which I find very interesting. And it's overall, and a lot of people are echoing this, it's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. It's middling. And ultimately, I found this a good example of why some things should be left alone. Certain things don't need a sequel, they don't need a prequel, they need something else. And some things should be just left as they are. And Willow is a prime example of that film. Now, let's be honest. I do find the storyline very weak. It's very generic. The acting isn't great. And I won't lie, to quote someone on imdb.com, and this just made me giggle, I have a cricket bat less wooden than Warwick Davis. Cricket bats are made of willow. It's... <laughs> it's true. Overall, this show is not only a disappointment, but it's also a show that seems to exist in this need to just cash grab. It feels empty, it feels shallow, it doesn't produce anything new, and that's ultimately the disappointment here. Ultimately, it doesn't produce anything particularly original. It's a D&D style quest that is great fun, and originality is not always a key to success or being good. This show just feels boring, plain, doesn't really need to exist, and that's ultimately the issue. It doesn't need to exist. It's very obviously a cash grab, and in fairness, Warwick Davis hasn't been particularly relevant for a very long time, but, but, I find stuff like this just generic. And that's ultimately the problem. It doesn't need to be good. It doesn't... It just exists to be content. And ultimately, that's what this is. There's a lot of Star Wars alumni in this, which I find hilarious. A lot of people pop up in it. But I just found... I just found this just shallow and empty. You take a classic movie that's great fun, that does exactly what it needs to do. Decades later, you decide to make a television series. And then, that's it. It's a sequel that doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be this movie. It doesn't need to exist. And when you have a movie that's now the same age as me, which is terrifying by the way it's ultimately just a cash grab it's nostalgia bait it's there to make you put your thing hand in your wallet and go here's my money i want some nostalgia and i will give credit where credit's due the scenery actually is very cute but again a lot of people are echoing what i'm saying the hype surrounding the show was quite high, but it's not great. Like, the reviews are mixed, and they've ultimately been very mixed. And it is kind of a shame. You go through IMDb, and it's every review is quite middling. That's the best way to describe it. Someone compared it to a CW show... A lot of people saying disappointing, hoping it would be better, struggling with the cast and struggling with the acting. Yes, 
that is bad. Not what I was expecting a few episodes in, come to mind, it's disappointing, I really hoped it would be better. While I enjoyed the Willow movie, I don't consider myself a die-hard fan. You know, it's quite interesting to read these reviews. There are a handful of really good reviews, but a lot of people saying another review seemingly bad, bland, YA fantasy comedy. A lot of middling numbers. And it's a shame. I think, again, like I said, the show didn't need to exist. It didn't need to be a thing. It just... It's a cash grab. It's nostalgia bait. It feels very empty. And that's ultimately the problem. And it's a... Ironically, I think they could have done Willow very good, but I feel like they should have done the sequel closer to the original movie. Because you can't really replace a lot of people in that. So, yeah... It's not terrible. It's not gonna it's not gonna offend anyone. It it's just a generic fantasy show. But it's not good either. It's that weird, dull, middle ground of mediocrity. So tell me what you think in the comments below. And um if you guys are interested, please check out the links in the description.